Yeah, and it feels like the 90s are like in the zeitgeist right now. Like Friends like resonates for one reason or another. And to me, that kind of blows my mind because it's such a like, I don't know. It's like even the name of the show is Friends. Like it's so basic. It's like such a basic show. But did, mm-hmm. you, um, did you watch Friends? Were you a must-see TV Thursday night NBC person? I, I know. I mean, that, that was my experience every Thursday was kind of watching Friends and then Seinfeld and often ER, too. Um, but what, what were you yeah, doing? I, I did watch a lot of Seinfeld back yeah, then. Yeah. Uh, like really a lot of it, but I'd never really got into friends, uh, back in the day. And I would often only watch it because someone else wanted to watch it. Uh, <laughs> right. but then more recently, like, you know, in the last year in anticipation of a show like this, I went through and I like watched every episode, maybe two or three times now. Of oh, friends. Um, Are you serious? J- yeah, just to study it, to figure out like what was going on. Um, and I do think that there is a reason. I mean, there's a, there's a few reasons why the show is kind of interesting and weird. And it's it's worth noting as as well that you can draw a direct line from Seinfeld uh, to Friends to Sex in the City to Girls, that yeah. HBO show. And I think that what's recognizable about those 90s shows, Seinfeld and Friends in particular, but also you can see Sex in the City doing this work as well, uh, although a different kind of work happens there that um, that I think is also happening with girls, mm. is that they're, they're all shows that are about sort of gentrification. And so in a weird way, it's about um, moving out of the 80s, 90s stereotypes of New York City as a de-industrialized atmosphere of sort of police and racial terror and drug use and abuse and the sort of two decades onward of white flight that sort of accelerates with the 70s fiscal crisis. Mm. And so part of what you're seeing in those shows is kind of culture leading in some ways um, the political economy, that there's an interesting dialectic taking place. I never thought of it that way, that that those shows are all about uh, like white people reclaiming the city space. 